What's up, guys? Welcome back. And I'm on Revan Tilly Coast doing some more missions. And I'm about to take out this Lynx. I want to see what it's doing, though. If it starts drinking, then I can unlock its drinking zone. It's down. All right, let's see this thing. These rocks are what is usually used in saunas. It's called diabase or dolerite. It's suitable because it's odorless, it's cut to the correct size, and doesn't crack because of heat. A form of diabase was used to build stone hens. Isn't that neat how different cultures find use for the same material? We use it to get hot, they use it as a monolithic calendar. <laughs> There is also a bird's whisk on the wall there if you want. What? You. Oh. It smells wonderful. Go ahead, place the rocks on the heater, and the sauna will be ready. Can rest. What? This is sick. How did you like it? Maybe I will join next time. I will bring sausage and something to drink. Bro, this is the best update ever. Alright, let's go collect that, uh, links. What are the common type of routes Revan Tuli Coast? Because I always say Revan Tuli Coast, but I see like YouTubers saying Revan Tuli Coast or whatever. Oh, they stopped that one uh, annoying glitch where the animals float across the lake. That's good. Oh, that fur type is sick. Should I add a 220? Oh. Gold. This would have made silver. Oh. Up This is one of my favorite places on the Blue Trail. These two lakes are kept from one another by a little stretch of land. They only meet when it rains. It's a romantic tragedy of nature. I've read a few times that Finland is at the top of lists that rank happiness. And I think I'm at the top of the list of Finns when I'm in places like this. You know, it's not only the beauty. 
is the way nature shapes this landscape without any real end goal in mind. It's incidental beauty. Or to think about it in another way, is it perceived as beautiful by anything other than humans? What factors have made us appreciate this? Does a monkey climb a tree only to pick the fruit? Or does he also take a second to appreciate the view? The way nature fits it all together is funny to me. Have you heard the quote from Edison? I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. <laughs> Describing his method for creating something is perhaps close to how evolution works. Nature needed countless mutations to create a thing that contemplates how many times it needs to create another thing. I wonder if you could call Edison's various attempts as him using his imagination and creativity. Could you then call nature's evolution and mutation as a manifestation of its creativity? But is evolution's creativity like a child painting or like an inventor finding ways that don't work? I think I need a long walk to think about this some more. Food spreading. What are you? Probably some small. Better get toward to your horn in there. Where's this little red scale? It's enormous. I ate the six pound one. Might have been a diamond. I don't know. I've seen a lot of brown bears to the north of here. There are rumors of a great, big, unique looking bear in the region. I have never seen it myself, and I'm not sure if it's true or not. Maybe you could go and check it out. You know, in old Finnish mythology, the bear is a very sacred animal. We say karhu in Finland. When a bear was harvested, a great feast was held in its honor, and part of the celebrations was about convincing the bear spirit it had died by accident and not been killed. This was done so that the bear spirit would not try to seek revenge. Afterward, the community would help the bear spirit return to the forest, so they would continue to be game in the future. For other communities, the bear was a son of a god, and was symbolically married to a maiden to make a bear god happy. Waking up on a Wednesday and hearing the good news, you're being married to a grizzly today. <laughs> Have you written your vows? We might not have a lot in common with ancient people, but hunting and celebrating the harvest is something we've been doing for many millennia. That emotion and activity ties us directly to the hunters that came before us. You know, it takes a while to sink in. You are doing and feeling the same exact thing hunters 5,000 years ago might have felt. Maybe not really, because I have good bad rocks. What do you mean, so? Hunting, walking, you know. It's normal. Yeah. <laughs> you were so 
The last ice age oh, yeah, created too. a lot of amusing landmarks on the Finnish landscape. I've marked their location on your hunter map, so you can check them out. Mm. Apart from natural landmarks, there are a few man-made ones here as well, that I think would be worth visiting. I recommend you to check them out, if you happen to be close to one of them. Yeah, they're gonna start walking out of the Black grouse. Yeah. I'm supposed to take a picture. Yo, chill. Oh, that was a huge boost. I swear, if I get a diamond boost right off the bat, oh, I'm going to be so happy. So, what was that? What is Is that? Oh. 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 Probably oh. one of those hazel grouse. Oh. Right here. 
there he is. The big boy. Sit down. So close. Two thirty seven. the other crown. Just northeast of here, up the cliff is a lookout tower. This trail does not get any closer, so if you want to use it, now is a good time. Come back here when you want to continue the trail. It's a bro hack. You can eat the bow tie, it's delicious. It's just like the thing that you really love. Or birthday cake or donut. You guys are all super sweeters and sweets. You need meats every morning now? These shadows are cool. We are pretty close to halfway through the blue trail now. Have you been enjoying yourself so far? You know, there are plenty more trails to walk on. For example, the yellow trail to walk with Holly is the red trail. It's a bit of a trek, but it goes down through the archipelago. Pirio is an oceanologist, so we can mix business with pleasure and bring our binoculars for some bird watching. We have many different species of birds that visit us. I don't remember the names of the birds in English. Uh, we have the uh, Metsahanhi and the Tukkasotka. And oh, oh yes, yes, <laughs> this one I know. We have yeah. Golden Eye, which I remember because uh, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, he's good, James Bond. And maybe you know, birds can't keep secrets. So if you listen, you can usually hear them long before you see them. When I want to get really close to them, I usually use a boat flight. So we have them available in the shop if you want to use one. Talking about birds reminds me of a song me and Pirio made together a few days ago. We recorded the call of some birds and made this. It's very short, but I think it turned out funny. Let me put it on. Take it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, no. Good, right? A Virio is very talented. 
water to Capricali. You know, west of here is a lookout tower, and northwest of that, there is an outpost. It's a bit of a walk, but you can visit them now if you want, or we can just continue on the blue train. Nice. I hear a... What the... I get it? I don't think I did. There's birds everywhere. Okay, guys, this could be the end of this video, and I'll make part three. Uh, like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and see you in the next one.